What does Shinigami truly represent in Japanese mythology? Are they messengers of death or misunderstood guardians of the afterlife? As we delve deeper, We'll uncover how these enigmatic figures differ from Western death deities like Thanatos and Anubis. Why is their presence scarce in traditional literature, yet so pivotal in shaping modern narratives? From their origins linked to Izanagi and Izanami to their complex relationship with Shinto beliefs, we'll explore how Shinigami navigates the realms of creation and destruction. Get ready to challenge your perceptions and confront the misconceptions. Welcome to I Talk Myth. In Japanese mythology, the term Shinigami translates to gods of death or death spirits, but their role is far more ambiguous than other deities associated with death worldwide. Unlike the Greek Thanatos, who offers a peaceful release, or the Egyptian Anubis, who escort the dead safely into the afterlife, Shinigami takes on a different, more varied function. They are not directly responsible for a person's death, nor do they dictate when someone dies. Instead, Shinigami are believed to usher people toward their demise, subtly influencing events. Their role can vary. Sometimes they appear as guiding spirits, while at other times, they embody malevolent forces driving people toward despair or even suicide. What makes them particularly mysterious is that they lack a unified appearance or clear mythological origins, shifting between being gods, spirits, or even demons in different stories. As a relatively modern invention in Japan, their role evolved significantly, influenced by contact with Western ideas of death, making them an essential and intriguing part of Japan's cultural narrative surrounding mortality. The role of Shinigami in Japanese mythology contrasts sharply with death deities in other cultures. In Greek mythology, Thanatos is the god of peaceful death a gentle figure who ushers souls into the afterlife with compassion and calm. Anubis, the Egyptian god associated with the dead, ensures that the souls are safely guided to the afterlife, acting more as a protector than an instigator. The Shinigami, however, play a more ambiguous and often sinister role. Rather than directly overseeing the death process or protecting souls, Shinigami subtly influences or invites individuals toward their demise. They are not inherently good or evil. Their purpose fluctuates between guidance, manipulation, and punishment. Their role can be as benign as simply escorting souls, or as malevolent as pushing people to commit suicide or leading them down dark paths. This unpredictability sets them apart from deities like Thanatos and Anubis whose roles are more clearly defined as peaceful facilitators of the natural end of life. The Shinigami thus reflects a more complex and multifaceted view of death within Japanese culture. The concept of Shinigami is not commonly found in traditional Japanese literature because they are a relatively recent development in Japanese mythology. Early Japanese texts such as the Kojiki and Neon Shoki, which focus on Shinto beliefs, do not feature Shinigami as distinct entities. Death in early Japanese thought was more often associated with spirits or the kami, but not with specific death gods like those in Western or Egyptian mythologies. The absence of Shinigami in older literature could also be attributed to Japan's unique views on death, where death was seen as a natural, inevitable part of life rather than something presided over by a singular deity. It wasn't until the Edo period in Japan's increased contact with Western cultures, where the idea of specific death gods was more common, that the notion of Shinigami began to emerge. As Japanese society grappled with changing views on death, suicide, and the supernatural, the concept of Shinigami developed as a reflection of those evolving beliefs. Thus, the Shinigami we see today are a product of more modern interpretations of death and are notably absent from much of the classical literature. Shinigami plays an indirect yet profound role in the process of death in Japanese mythology. Unlike other death deities who control or oversee the moment of death, Shinigami are more like supernatural influencers, subtly guiding individuals toward their eventual demise. Their influence often manifests in people's thoughts, particularly in cases where they lead individuals to places where others have died especially by suicide. In some versions, Shinigami are described as possessing people, 
slowly eroding their will to live by causing them to relive their worst memories, mistakes, or fears. This mental manipulation isolates the individual from seeking help, pushing them toward death as a form of release. Rather than causing death directly, Shinigami are believed to influence the living in ways that make death seem inevitable or desirable, a haunting presence in the background of their thoughts. This psychological role contrasts with death gods and other cultures who deal directly with the physical aspects of death, making Shinigami figures both feared and misunderstood for their ability to alter one's mental state and hasten their journey toward the end of life. In Japanese mythology, Izanagi and Izanami are considered primordial deities responsible for the creation of the islands of Japan and the birth of many gods. They are key figures in Shinto cosmology, with their story representing both life and death. After giving birth to the fire god, Izanami dies and descends into the underworld Yomi, marking her association with death. Izanagi, stricken with grief, attempts to rescue her, but after seeing her decayed form in Yomi, he flees, forever separating the living from the dead. This moment of departure symbolizes the finality of death and the separation of the mortal realm from the afterlife. While Izanami remains trapped in the underworld, she becomes a vengeful figure, cursing Izanagi and vowing to take 1,000 lives each day, an act that ties her to the concept of death spirits. Izanagi, in contrast, cleanses himself after returning from Yomi, symbolizing purification from death's taint. Both deities are seen as early examples of Shinigami due to their association with death and the afterlife. Their story laid the groundwork for the concept of death spirits in Japan, as Izanami's role as a vengeful, death-bringing figure reflects the later characteristics of Shinigami, particularly in their ability to influence and govern death from the shadows. In the broader context of the Shinto religion, Shinigami stands somewhat apart from traditional beliefs about death. Shintoism focuses on the reverence of kami, sacred spirits associated with natural elements and ancestors, who are believed to protect and guide the living. Death, in classical Shinto belief, is viewed as impure and disruptive, requiring rituals of purification to cleanse individuals from its defiling influence. The dead are often honored and respected, but they do not govern or interfere with the living directly. In this sense, Shinigami do not fit neatly into the Shinto worldview. Instead, they represent a more modern layer of mythological interpretation that arose as Japan encountered Western ideas about death deities and the supernatural. Whereas Shinto focuses on the natural order, the role of the Shinigami introduces the idea of spirits that can influence human fate by inviting death. Their emergence in later folklore and myth may be viewed as an evolution of Japan's approach to death, where the veneration of ancestors coexists with a more ominous and ambiguous view of death spirits. The Shinigami's role as agents of death, sometimes vengeful or malevolent, contrasts with the more harmonious relationship between the living and spirits in traditional Shinto practice. This has always blown my mind. A little bit of 95% of you who listen to the story regularly haven't yet subscribed to this channel. So, I would like to ask you for a favor before we start. If you like the story, you like what we do here, and you want to support us, the free simple way that you can do just that is by hitting the subscribe button, and my commitment to you is if you do that, then I'll do everything in my power. Me and my team will make sure that this channel is better for you. For every single video, we'll listen to your feedback, we'll find the guests that you want to talk about, and we'll continue to do what we do. Thank you. The evolution of the Shinigami concept in Japan can be attributed to several key factors. First, Japan's increasing interaction with Western cultures during the Edo period, 17th to 19th centuries, introduced new ideas about death and the supernatural. Western myths often included gods or spirits specifically tasked with managing death, such as the Grim Reaper. This influence likely contributed to the development of Shinigami as distinct death spirits, rather than just vague ancestral or spiritual figures associated with death. Additionally, during this period, Japan was grappling with the social and cultural consequences of suicide, especially in the context of honor and duty, which led to the need for spiritual explanations of why people might take their own lives. 
The Shinigami became a convenient embodiment of the forces that could push someone towards such a fate, offering a supernatural explanation for these tragic events. Another factor is the changing perception of death itself in Japan. As society evolved, so too did its view on mortality, with the more rigid structures of the past giving way to new beliefs that were more flexible, allowing for the introduction of Shinigami as both terrifying and sometimes playful figures. The concept of Shinigami also became popular in later Japanese entertainment, such as theater, literature, and eventually manga and anime, which further cemented their place in Japanese popular consciousness. The idea of Shinigami evolved to reflect both traditional beliefs and new cultural influences, creating a multifaceted and intriguing portrayal of death and its agents. Western cultural influences have significantly shaped the modern understanding of Shinigami, transforming them into more complex and nuanced figures within Japanese mythology. As Japan opened up to Western ideas during the Meiji Restoration in the late 19th century, concepts of death and the afterlife began to merge with Western narratives about spirits and deities. The archetype of the Grim Reaper, a skeletal figure that embodies death, provided a visual and thematic reference that resonated with Japanese audiences. This influence is evident in modern portrayals of Shinigami, particularly in anime and manga, where they are often depicted as playful, mischievous, or even morally ambiguous characters who possess death-related powers. Works like Death Note have further popularized the idea of Shinigami as complex beings who interact with humans, sometimes manipulating them or granting them power, much like Western myths involving deals with the devil or other supernatural entities. This blending of ideas has also allowed for a broader interpretation of death, one that includes both the whimsical and the sinister, making Shinigami relevant in contemporary storytelling. As a result, Shinigami have evolved from their traditional roots into multifaceted characters that reflect not only Japan's rich cultural heritage, but also a modern understanding shaped by global influences, allowing for diverse and dynamic narratives around the theme of death. In Japanese mythology, Shinigami embodies the dual forces of creation and destruction, illustrating the complex relationship between life and death. On one hand, Shinigami can be seen as the creator, facilitating the transition of souls into the afterlife, thereby ensuring the cycle of life continues. Their role in guiding spirits reflects a natural order where death is not an end, but a transformation allowing for rebirth in various forms, whether as new life or reincarnation. This aspect aligns with Shinto beliefs in the sanctity of life and the reverence for ancestral spirits. Conversely, Shinigami also represent destruction, particularly in their ability to lead individuals toward death, often influencing thoughts and emotions in a way that can culminate in suicide or despair. This darker facet portrays them as vengeful spirits or entities that can manipulate human fate, showcasing the idea that death can arise from suffering and chaos. Thus, Shinigami serves as a reminder of the fragility of life, emphasizing that creation and destruction are interlinked aspects of existence. Their multifaceted nature reflects broader themes within Japanese culture, where life is viewed as a continuous cycle shaped by both nurturing and destructive forces, ultimately highlighting the complexity of mortality in the human experience. Several misconceptions surround the concept of Shinigami that warrant clarification. One common misunderstanding is that Shinigami are strictly evil or malevolent entities. While many portrayals emphasize their darker aspects, particularly in modern media like Death Note, they are more accurately described as complex figures that embody both positive and negative traits. In traditional folklore, some Shinigami act as guides for souls transitioning to the afterlife, playing a crucial role in the natural order rather than simply sowing chaos. Another misconception is that Shinigami are akin to Western Grim Reapers. While there are similarities, the cultural contexts and connotations differ significantly. Unlike the Grim Reaper, who often represents a single, consistent aspect of death. Shinigami encompasses a broader spectrum of influences, sometimes embodying creation and nurturing alongside destruction. Additionally, some believe that Shinigami are linked exclusively to suicide, whereas they can represent various forms of death, 
serving as a reminder of life's fragility rather than solely as harbingers of despair. Are you ready to confront the mysteries of Shinigami? Dive deeper into the shadows of death and explore the truth behind these enigmatic figures. Discover how they challenge our understanding of mortality, creation, and destruction. Don't miss out. Subscribe now and join us on this haunting journey.